Morning guys, Ryan here and welcome to the development curve. So uh, we're here at Bury St Edmunds Golf Club and uh, I'm going to have my first round with my new grip. Uh, I'm going to be playing with Cy today. Uh, but before we get out on the course, I'm just going to show you what I've been up to in the last week or so, uh, how I've been practicing, how I've been uh, training the new grip and uh, then we'll get out on that course. So I'll see you soon. So guys, I'm here at work and I'm uh, currently backstage at the Roundhouse in London. I just found this broom handle down here that's going to let me try and practice my grip whilst I'm at work. So the new grip I did with Simon uh, the other week, I just really need to try and get used to holding the club slightly differently and trying new things. So just going to keep gripping it. Just try and get really comfortable with it and probably have got a great deal of space to swing it but uh, I'll have a go and uh, see how we get on. Okay, so guys, it's been the last hour or so just sort of gripping that broom handle. Tried to swing it a little bit as you saw in the um, in the video. I uh, went out actually into the open and uh, found a bit more space. It was quite long, even longer than a driver, so it, just, it did feel a bit uncomfortable. But I was just using it to try and get really comfortable with feeling uh, the new grip. My left thumb is now sort of moved underneath the palm of my right hand, so that sort of felt a bit uncomfortable for a while. But it's getting better and uh, it's things like that you can quite easily do at home. You know, grab a golf club, just sit on the sofa whilst you're watching TV and, uh, and just get used to feeling that club in your hand, even get outside and, uh, and swing the club if you can. And then, uh, you know, just get really comfortable, really confident of, of feel it, that feel of the swing and, uh, and the club in your hand. Okay, so, so that's what's been happening over sort of the last week and a half or so. Uh, Sai in the background is doing his bit to to project left and we're here on the first tee. It's a bit breezy today, it's a bit chilly. The sun's out though, which is lovely, and uh, we're gonna have a game of skins. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of course management. So uh, if you saw Adam's video about course management, then uh, we're gonna have to look at that, you know, the wind's blowing, how I'm gonna play the shots, and, uh, and let's see how this grip gets on. down unfortunately through four uh, Thai is just in the trees uh, just take the three wood off the uh, it's quite a narrow landing area wind behind me it's quite a poor pub club selection in the end because I've uh, stuck it in the trees on the left uh, there's bunkers in front of me at the green it's going to be quite difficult on this par four now uh, it's all about that club selection 
Uh, I should have really taken out something like a full hybrid or something. Just got it onto the uh, got it onto the fairway. Especially seeing as Simon went straight into the uh, straight into the trees and he was first off. So uh, tricky shot now and uh, see how I get on. Didn't win the fifth, uh, didn't get it out of the uh, through the trees very well, and hit a poor shot into the bunker. Good bunker shot out, a terrible putt. Uh, so I lost that hole, and then uh, put myself straight in trouble on the sixth with just a top off the tee. Uh, the wind was in my face, and uh, thought I'd just take a, uh, a three wood, just try and keep it nice and low. Kept it low, just uh, didn't go very far. Now. Uh, a couple more poor shots and I'm in the trees again. Right, so I've stolen Ryan's phone. <laughs> Nine holes in, what do you think? Uh, I've got a couple of skins. Wind, yeah. Come out from here, let's get out the wind. Couple of holes, couple of skins. How do you feel like you're playing? Uh, not bad. Uh, this new grip, getting used to it, getting uh, feeling slightly more comfortable. It still feels really alien because so many years of a bad grip. Yeah. Uh, but you know, a couple of pars, uh, hit a good shot into nine that we didn't film. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I filmed it. Don't worry. How did you? Oh, good. Oh, right. uh, so check out Project Left for that one. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Let's see how the back nine goes, but uh, it's feeling good. You still trust me, you haven't slipped I, back into your old grip? I try, it's really hard not to, and when you hit a bad shot and you're like, oh, well, if I hit a better shot with the old grip, it's so just tough. stay there, stay there, and it will come better yeah. than the in old the long grip. term. Yeah. Good, right, let's get up this hill into the sun. And we're also on the new tee, what, the new tee, the normal tee. Right, Summer tee. Right, winter tee, so spring is definitely in the air. Three holes left, a good drive up uh, 14, bunged in the middle, so I had a little bit of trouble and uh, made a hash of it. Made a six, which was enough to win the hole, and then uh, so and I have just halved the, uh, the next hole, the part three. So uh, three to play, one skin down. Two skins down, one skin down. No, it's actually level. Oh, oh, there's some adding, there's some adding issues. So Ryan's just about stayed in bounds here. It's got a pretty tough shot actually. Ooh, it's his way a bit. Ooh. Run, run. Oh, he's played it so well. 
Okay. One. Only needs one. Lovely part. Brilliant. Thank okay, you, mate. Thank you. Enjoyed Bob that. Blade. Um, yeah. So, what are we doing? A PGA life ending or a we better do a PGA. development curve ending? Seeing as all of your devices are dead. <laughs> Everything and we're on dead. my phone so now. So let's let's finish it with you, Go on in. Uh So played all right back nine. I felt uh, grips getting there, feeling more comfortable. Did have a check with size sort of latter ends, and it's looking good. So uh, definitely trusted it all the way around today. I've got you, to. You stuck with it. I've got like. You're the coach, you know that it's the right thing to do, so it's just working with that, and eventually it'll come good and I'll golf will improve. And you know, par on here and a couple yep. of pars around there, a couple of horrible holes, but you know, we'll just gloss. Definitely a tough day today, wasn't it? With the wind, but yeah, the wind was tough. Try to overplay it a little bit, and uh, well, yeah, it was a really, really tough day in that wind. Uh, but I felt I played pretty well in the end, but I forgot to film an ending. Uh, as you can see, I'm back at work and I am backstage at another job. Uh, but I thought I had a little bit of uh, downtime, so just getting through the edit. Um, and yeah, so I found definite things I need to work on. My putting was really quite poor. I, I definitely left some shots out there. So it's definitely something I need to work on and my driving as well. Uh, so we've got uh, a session with Simon. We're going to work on the driver and, uh, and try and get that fixed before Paris, which is not long away. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you down here on PGA Life 365 again very soon. Only needs one. Only needs one.